There is a guy, his name is Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah, yeah, he's here. Let me call him. He's trying to call. Answer, Abdullah, answer. Are you going to answer or not? Uh -oh. See what the Muslim do? They call me when I'm talking. Hello. Hello, hi, how are you? Hey, my friend, how are you? Good, how are you? They call me when I'm talking. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Mute you too, please. Um, so, uh, how are you, my friend? I'm very good. Okay. Thank, God, thank God for, for, for being who I am. All right. Um, I just wanted uh, to cl clar clarify something. Hmm. Are you a Muslim first? Yes, I am. How you, okay, are, do you have knowledge about Islam? Yes, I, I'm, a, I'm a, I call myself a layman, but I have some knowledge. You have, you call yourself your what? A layman. Layman, what does that mean? A layman is someone who, who's not like a super knowledge, knowledgeable, but they have some knowledge. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Layman, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. So, what, um, so what you said about, like, in your argument right here, hmm. That uh, that the prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that a a a, a black a man from Ethiopia will de demolish the Kaaba. Yes. Yeah. So, what I wanted to say about that is, that's that's not being racist. That's just stating a fact that will happen. Hmm. Really. Hmm. Well, who is the one who tried to destroy the Kaaba first time? Isn't he Ethiopian too? The first time, hmm. where the Allah He sent the army of the uh, He to face the army of the elephant, according to your to you Muslims, according to your Prophet, He's from Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how come how how come your Prophet is stuck with Africa and that they are the one who will destroy the house of Allah? When the fact the, when the fact is the one who destroyed the house of Allah was white man. What do you mean it was a white man? Al Qurmuti. Al Qurmuti is a white Arab man. He is not an African. He is not from Ethiopia. He destroyed the black the, the Kaaba. He screamed in the middle of the Kaaba saying, Where are you, Allah? Where is the where is the birds? It's a big fat lie. And then he took the black stone and he used it as a poop stone for more than 21 years. So your prophet prophecy is a false prophecy. The one who took the black stone was a white man, and his name is Al Qurmuti. And not only that. The Muslims, in order to get the black stone back, they have to bribe him. They contacted with Hakim bi Amrullah al-Fatimi, the Caliphate of Egypt, who was a Shia, and they asked him, can you please talk to al Qurmuti so he can, we can get the black stone back? Because now we have no Kaaba and we have no black stone. How we can worship Allah? So they bribe him, they give him money, and then he send him back the black stone. Yes or no? Okay, I wanted to tell you something. Tell me something. I like something always. Yeah, whether... Hmm. The Kaaba is there or it's not there. Mm. Uh, we we it doesn't matter to us because Allah is always there to worship. Mm. This is not the question. Allah, He said in the chapter of the elephant that Allah protect the Kaaba from an army of the Ethiopian. They came with their elephant. Why they are Ethiopian, and why He focused Muhammad that even in the future an Ethiopian will come and they destroy it for real. And but why Muhammad did not prophesy that the one who would destroy the Kaaba is a white Arab man and he would take the black stone? And where is the elephant? How come Allah protected the, the Kaaba first time? But he didn't want to protect it when Al Qurmuti he came. And Al Qurmuti not only he, he destroyed the Kaaba, he was screaming to Allah, he says, Where are the elephant? Where is their birds? Where is your protection? Huh? Where he challenged Allah in the middle of the Kaaba. At that time, a lot of people left Islam because they noticed that this Kaaba is nothing but a fairy tale story, and the Kaaba is protected, and the Kaaba story is nothing but a garbage. So now, explain to me how Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba when the chapter of the elephant. You heard of the chapter of the elephant before? Yes. Okay. The chapter of the elephant is about an army of elephant came to destroy oh, the Kaaba. Read it. I read it. Yeah. Okay. 
So how Allah He protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba was surrounded by idols, but Allah don't protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba have only Muslims and the guy he killed more than ten thousand Muslims around the Kaaba, ten thousand, and Allah did not send His birds. No, the the army was destroyed before reaching Mecca. No problem, but the the army of Al Qurmi not destroyed. He took Mecca. He killed ten thousand people in Mecca, and he took the black stone. So the lie here in the chapter of the elephant, chapter one o five, about an army who come to destroy the Kaaba and Allah He sent His birds, F sixteen birds. It was a lie. It's not a lie. So why He did not send His bird to defend the Muslims when the, He came to destroy the Kaaba? And the guy not only destroyed the Kaaba, He was screaming, saying, "Allah, hey, where are you? Making fun of Allah? What is your birds?" Is if this is not the time to send the birds where Allah he need to send the birds a guy challenging Allah in the middle of the Kaaba and he have his foot over the black stone don't you see uh, uh, chapter 105 verse number three and he sent against them flights of birds okay well so I'm saying where is the birds where is the birds when Al-Qurmuti he came and he destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone are you listening my friend where is the birds which is in the chapter of 105 which came to fight the elephant army. Why Allah did not send his birds to fight that army, which is the army of Al Qurmuti, who destroyed the Kaaba, make fun of Al Kaaba, and he decided that Al Kaaba we do not need it. It's a stupid thing. It's a pagan. Uh, wait, let me just clarify here. Who's Al Qurmuti? Al Qurmuti. You see, you are a person. You told me you are a lame. You are what? Lame, lame, and not what? A layman. Layman, layman. Sorry, if, excuse my English. You are a layman. I look like your layman is not working. You, if you don't know what Al Qurmati, go right now and search in YouTube. You will see many Islamic scholars speaking about how Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba, and he was screaming, saying, "Allah, what is your bird? <laughs> what is your bird? Huh? What is your bird? It's a lie." So, if you do not know, this is your business. Now, as long as we are talking about this chapter of the elephant, have you ever heard of an army of elephant walking in the desert? Yeah, how they can survive. Do you know how much how much water an elephant he need every day? A lot of water. Okay, how then they can come all the way to Mecca without that water? If if God decrees something it will happen my friend water. are they the, the army of God or the army of the enemy? So Allah he provide them water you are saying to me Oh, you're talking because the enemies had elephants, right? Yes, the enemy have elephants. So how the army of the elephant, which is the enemy of Allah, they can come all the way in the desert with no water. Do you know Arab al Khali? The area if they want to come from the side of Ethiopia, they have to go through Arab al Khali, which means the empty quarter. The reason it's called empty quarter because there's no water. No, nothing can survive there. It's dead. It is just a golden sand very fine even if you walk in it your feet will go down in the sand so how in the world an, an, an army of elephant can go there they probably had lots of supplies with water absolutely water. guys they have supply of water how that can be man i mean are you kidding me supply of water walking in the desert with elephant they need yeah. 600 liter of water a day for every elephant My friend, they, they're they Listen, listen, I will be merciful to you. I will change the topic. I want you to tell me nothing to prove to me Islam is from God. Do you see the picture for uh, in front of us in the in the in the in the screen? Yeah. Your prophet he kissed the black stone. Why? Because the black stone came from heaven. Okay. And if the black stone came from heaven, we kiss it. Uh yeah, he kissed it because it came from heaven, so that's why um it's Everyone when they see the black stone they kiss it. So what does that mean? The black stone is holy It's it's not necessarily holy. It's it ju it's just the fact that it is it came from is it heaven. dirty? Is it dirty then? No, so why you kiss it? Why he kiss it if it's not holy? Because it came from heaven. Okay, so what if it came here if we have tons of rocks filled every night from the space So why are, you, are we going to uh, you can't compare space to heaven? Oh, what is heaven? What is heaven for you? Heaven is created by God that hmm. the eye can't, that the brain can't even imagine. So in the heaven of Allah, he have a lot of rocks like those? 
I don't know. I don't know about. Do you see the Do you see the screen with me? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. Do you see what are we talking about? Yeah. Which one of the Which one of the images you see in front of you is the black stone? This one in the right or this one in the left? The one in the right. Not true. The one in the left is the true, the true black stone. Those are eight black stones, small, tiny ones. So you, you how you say that Allah He sent this from heaven? This is stupid. How in the world? That you find those stones to be sent from heaven. Read with look, look with me carefully, my friend. Stone number one, stone number two, stone number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little tiny stones and they don't even match in color. How those are sent from heaven? My friend, you're mixing apples with oranges. Mm, how is that? Because just because they're different in color doesn't mean they don't come from heaven. Okay, no problem. But how how we have them? How you call it a black stone? We should call it black stones, and they are not black. Actually, you will see that some of them they are black, some of them they are not. Now, how you know that those little tiny stones are sent from heaven? Because it's been said. But who? Wait, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the the hadith, okay? Mm. The, the hadith says that Allah He sent down eight little tiny stones. Not, it might no. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, it says in if you go to uh, sunnah.com, it says in uh, and you search up the black stone, it'll it'll pop up. Oof, that's deep. Okay, and. Yeah, and it says the black stone is from paradise. Okay, and what does this have to do with my question? It says that the black stone is from paradise, but it's not a stone as you see. It's a small, tiny stone. So this hadith is going to be, going to be true. The hadith you mentioned to me it says the black stone, first of all, they are not black. Secondly, they are small, tiny, and they are not really in the same color. So how it says a black stone, but they are stones. And how it says it's coming from heaven, and Allah, he sent you little tiny thing. This is from heaven? And this is what is making the Kaaba holy now. Those little tiny ones, those what is that? Those are the teeth of, of, a, of a baby child who lost his teeth. How this is going to be a holy stone? Why, why the prophet he said, You said to me, it is coming from heaven. So so what? Let us say it's coming even from under the under the ass of Allah. So why we want to kiss it? It's a stone. You're very, you're, sir, you're very disrespectful. I don't I respect, you know no, I don't respect my friend. I'm an Arab. We Arab, we don't respect anything. In case you do not know, I'm an Arab. Oh, you are an Arab. Yes, uh, sadly, but I can't do. I can't change that. Okay. So now I'm asking you, why your prophet kiss it? They are little tiny stones, and is it is it true that your prophet he says that uh, the the black stone is going to have eyes, is going to witness that, in the judgment day? That it's going to have eyes. Yes. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, you said to me you have a lot, you have knowledge. Look like you don't know nothing, I, anything. I have some knowledge. I said I have some. Ah, you have some. I like your some anyway. So, my friend. So, when your prophet he said that the black stone is going to have eyes, and is going to witness for you, in the heaven of Allah, or the sorry, in the judgment day of Allah. Does that mean the black stone is an assistant for Allah? Okay, look, I'm gonna wait. Wait, what was your question? <laughs> is this black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day and as an assistant for Allah? Why the black stone need to witness for you in the judgment day? You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, why the black stone is going to be having two eyes and is going to have a tongue? Do you see a hadith in front of you? Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Mm. The man, the so the black man. stone is going to have tongue, is going to have eyes, which I like really. I'm, I don't mind if the black stone have that. Because it's just in case the human being tries to lie, it's going to it's going to speak against the, ah, the lion. So the black stone will get you busted. Uh -huh. yeah. I thought Allah is all knowledgeable anyway. Who need the black stone? Don't Allah he knew if he commits sin or not? Huh? 
but he is all knowledgeable, but he's going to have something that speaks against you. So people like you are shocked and their mouth is oof, wide oof, 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 oof. I'm really shocked now. Let us let us do this. Based on what you just said to me, my friend, Allah yeah. is going to make a mouth for the black stone. And this is the tongue of the black stone coming out. It's going to talk. Listen, listen. And then it's we going to be it's going we to have know. eyes. Hold on, hold on. Let us let us make an image correctly so people they can understand. And this is the two eyes of the black stone. How sexy. All right. So now we have a stone, have two eyes, and have a tongue, and the stone in the judgment day will start saying we have more than a billion in Muslim. So the black stone is going to witness for every one of them. Why? You said. So you cannot lie. Well, can you lie to Allah if he is God? So you are saying to me that Allah, he made a stone as his secretary. No. What do you mean no? You are the one who said that to me. You said to me that the stone is going to get you busted. The stone is going to tell you if you are lying. Yeah, it is. So the stone I... is the secretary of Allah. No, Allah doesn't need a secretary. Okay, well, it is. It says that the uh, the, the black stone is the, the right hand of Allah. Yes or no? Show me. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let us let us find you the hadith. Okay. Go ahead. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. Let us see if we can find you. Okay. I hope you know that just like the Bible, the Quran and Hadiths have an hermeneutics and exegesis. Uh, read with me carefully, my friend. The black stone is the right hand of Allah and earth. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Musnad Ahmad, Musnad al Tabarani, Mu'ajam Abu Ubaid. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. What do you say? You're a prophet, this he said. Probably, yep. This probably has a deeper meaning, which I don't no, understand. Yes, yes, absolutely. The black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Whoever touch it or kiss it, it is as if he shake the hands with Allah and kiss his right hand. And as you see over here, it also says only those who do not think them over will not understand them. Do you understand it yourself? Yeah, I I understand what it says right here, but what do you understand? Explain to us. Here we go. If you kiss the black stone as if you kiss the right hand of Allah, let us see your intelligence. Go ahead. We are not smart like you, and you are the one who will explain to us how if we kiss the black stone, we are kissing the right hand of Allah. The black stone came from heaven, so that's like must be a like a very small portion of it. Mm, so this is how how that will make it the right hand of Allah. We don't know because we don't know what Allah's hands look like. Mm, well, we know how it look like. It's a black stone now. No. Here we go. Read with me. The black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Whoever touch it or kiss it, it is as he shake the hand of Allah. Does it say that or I'm making things up? No, it says that on the screen. Okay, so it is the right hand of Allah. Your God, Allah, is an idol. And you have a hand. No. It's a black. It's, okay, how he is not an idol, but his hand is a stone. His hand is an idol stone. Do, do you look look let's let's read it together mm. the black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth whoever touches it or kisses it mm. is it it is as if mm. wait, as if he it, as if he touch? as if he kiss as if he kiss okay no problem yeah, okay as so as how as I can as compare as between a stone and God if he is not a stone himself 
Can we compare stone to God? Can I say if he kiss a stone as if he kiss Allah and unless he have a hand and his hand is a stone? No, no. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on. You are a Muslim, right? Yes. Did you kiss the black stone? I, I've never uh, went to Mecca, so no. You don't know what are you missing, man? You should go. Because kissing the black stone, according to Muhammad, will erase your sin. How if we kiss a stone or touch a stone that will erase our sin? Do you have an idea? No, uh, no, I don't. Is it? Don't you think if somebody believed that a stone can erase your sin, touching stones, that is pagan? Be honest with me. Try to be honest, please. If somebody believe that touching stones will erase your sin, don't you think that I'm, this is paganism? I mean, if it's a command from if it's a command from the prophet of God, mm. then then obviously he's more knowledgeable than us. And what he you see, he you're not answering. You're not answering. This is not what I'm asking you. How if I touch a stones that will erase my sin unless I am a pagan person? If somebody believe by touching stones he is his sin is forgiven obviously he is a pagan man do you believe really if you touch stones that will erase your sin yeah yeah okay here we go guys so this guy he believes so Islam is a pagan religion there's no way if uh, somebody well, believed that touching because what does that mean the stone is holy and the stone have the authority of God to forgive sin that's what you are saying to me how the stone will forgive your sin? Because that's a command from from Allah. What command of Allah? Okay, this is a stone. He is saying, if you touch the stone, if you touch the stone, your sin is forgiven. So now I can go and rape some women and rape some children, and they can go touch the stones, and then my sin is forgiven. That is this is garbage. No, that's not what it means. This so what it means. It says, it says, whoever touch them and whoever go around them as its sin is forgiven is erased. Not only forgiven, actually, it's erased. Erases. That's it. You became pure as yeah, if you are so born what yesterday. Saying, what this means? What this means is, if you do Hajj, your sins are forgiven. My friend, he's saying, if you do Hajj, or if you say whoever touch them. Okay. If you don't if you do hajj and you don't touch them you did not do what is going to forgive your sin read it carefully whoever touched them and circulate around them so here if you touch them if you circulate around them as if you're free a slave because Islam uh, have have two ways to free a slave as a penalty or as a reward what does that mean if a person he be convert to Islam the owner he is a free to free him because the, the slave convert to Islam but you don't have to which means still you can own a slave he's a Muslim like Bilal but as a penalty the Quran says if you kill somebody as a penalty for killing a Muslim a Muslim only then you have to free a slave so Muhammad he, he used it as a penalty not as a reward for the slaves themselves here you see that if you go around the Kaaba so now if I kill somebody and now uh, the Quran says a free a slave if you kill somebody by let us say uh, a Muslim believer so the Quran, Muhammad, he gave them a solution. Okay, don't uh, free a slave. It's just something I said I don't mean. Go around the Kaaba seven times, it's the same. How in the world that can be the same? How freeing a human being who is a slave is equal to going around the Kaaba seven times and now nobody want to free a slave no more because all what they need to do, they go around the Kaaba seven times. You're you're mixing apples with oranges. You, you, uh, you my friend, understand. I like apples. I like oranges. That will make nice juice. It's not good. It's not a bad thing. But now you are the one who makes black stones with God. In one hand, you say to me, you worship God. In the other hand, you say to me, if I touch them, that forgive my sin. No. So what it's saying, if you do Hajj, you all, your sins will forgive will be forgiven Hunch no if you touch it. them the sin will be forgiven will be erased if you touch the stones the two corners the Yemeni corner and the black stone there's two corners stones brought from Yemen which from the temple of the of the moon and stones which is the black stone those are if you touch them both Allah erase it, it says erase your sin so what kind of religion this religion is 
again you will say to me you are mixing lemon with uh, with apple I like that not, not that's not a problem because both are good fruits and they are healthy what kind of a healthy religion is saying to you go and touch stones and if you do that that erase your sin okay I'll explain to you one second mm. It's really funny that you never saw this before and in a second you are able to explain to me I mean you are like knowledge inspiring coming to you from God if you never heard this before how you can explain it to me you will see mm. go ahead okay just just give me do you do you feel like you want to call a friend a friend? Uh, no, I, I won't call a friend. You want to call your four wives as an example? Anything? I don't know. Anyone can help you. Okay, my friend, you can go and uh, look and you can call me later. No problem. It's okay. No, 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 no. Why don't we talk about something else then? Okay, we can talk about something else. Have you ever heard of something called something else before? Yeah. Okay, what something else mean? Did your prophet spoke about something else? About, let's talk about a different topic. No, no, no. We are talking about something different and right now. No, you, why, why don't you listen to me for once? Okay, go ahead. I will listen to you. So, as Muslims, we... I suppose you know that we believe Jesus is the messenger of God, right? Where, where, where is mentioned Jesus in your religion? In the Quran. Where? Okay, here it's mentioned in here. Uh, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. As I know, I never heard of this before. This is new for me. That's why I like you to teach me. Can Can I give you? Can Can you give me a second? Don't talk, please. I will go. Uh, just I need to bring some water. Is that okay? Okay, go ahead. All right. Thank you very much for your generation generosity. All right, my friend, go ahead. Did okay. you find did you find Jesus in the Quran? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Where? Quran, chap, chapter three, verse number forty-five. Man, I, I don't know how I missed that one. Uh, chapter three, verse what? Uh, chapter three, verse number forty-five. How I did not notice this one. Okay, uh, can you read it for me? Remember when the angels proclaimed, O oh Mary, God gives you good news of a word. From him, his name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, mm. honored in this world and the hereafter. And okay. he will be one of those nearest to God. All right. Does it say there the word Jesus? Yeah. I don't, I don't see it. I see it. It says uh, Isa. Isa is, an, Isa is his uh, Arabic name. Mm -hmm. Isa is an Arabic name. I am an Arab. And we Christians, Arab Christian, we never, we never heard of a guy. His name is Isa. Who's Isa? We call him Yesu in Arabic. Yesu al Masih. We don't have yeah. Isa. Okay, how Isa, how Yesu a... how Yesu became Isa? There's a huge difference between them. Okay, I'm sorry. Not his Arabic name. His Muslim name. 
Oh, Muslim name. How come Muhammad he got the wrong name for for Yeshua? I mean, if his name is Yeshua, it's just it. His name is Yeshua, Yeshua or Yeshua. We don't do how how he made his name Isa. That's how he's called in the Quran. That's what God called him, and that that's it. Ah, okay. That's a good, uh, you know. Okay, let me let me ask you. So, uh, Isa is born of a woman. Her name is Mary, correct? Yeah. His correct. name is Mary or Maryam. Her name is Maryam. Okay, Maryam is the daughter of who? Maryam is the daughter of um, dun, 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 of uh, Imran. Imran. Okay. Moses. Yeah. What is the name of his father? The name of Moses' father. Mm -hmm. Do you like to search and search Prophet Muhammad, uh, Prophet Moses in Islamic way? You know, don't search like a Christian. Search as Muslims. What Muslims believe? What is the name of the father of Moses? Okay. Says over here that generally names his father Imran. Hmm. And Mary, she have the same father. I mean, do you, do you what do you think about this? So Moses, his father is Imran, and Mary, her father is Imran. Do you agree with that? <clears throat> but look like they are brothers and sisters. Are they brothers and sisters? Is is Mary the, is Mary? Hold on. Oh, is Mary the sister of Moses? No, but the Quran says yes. Chapter nineteen, verse number twenty-eight. It says that she is the sister of Aaron, and Aaron is the brother of Moses. So not what we have now. And can you, you are the one. Can you say the chap? Can you say the chapter again? Chapter nineteen, verse number twenty-eight. Chapter nineteen, verse twenty-eight. Yes. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I'm there. So now we have Moses. He is the brother of Mary, and Moses' father, his name is Omron. And Mary' father, her name, his, her father' name is Omron. They have the same father name, and the Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron. So now we have Mary, the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses. Oh, you, you, you misunderstood. You really? misunderstood. Uh huh. How? Okay. So can I can I explain to you? Go ahead, please. Okay. So there they said the reason why they said that is because they didn't like because they uh they thought she did adultery so they said oh sister of Aaron mm. because um because they didn't ex ex expect her to do something terrible like that because they held Mary in high esteem mm. just like mm. just like Aaron and Moses. Mm. Really? Yeah. That's funny. But so, how the uh, the father of Mary became the same father of uh, Aaron? How both of them, their name is Omron. Is that true? I don't know. Do you know anywhere in the Quran where it says uh, the name of Moses' father? You are the one who said to me that Mura or Moses is his father is Omron, not me. You are just a second ago. You forgot. You search on Google. Become, I, I said that. Okay, okay. I said so, that. okay. So, Amran is the father. This is what it says. Amran, according to Muslims, Amran father is uh, Amran is the father of Moses and Aaron. So, what your prophet did after the Christians they start laughing at him because this is stupid to say between Miriam, the mother of Jesus, and Moses, there's hundreds of years. So, Muhammad he have to cover his madness that uh, this is not an error, but it's too late now. He said, oh, they used to call them by their uh, ancestors, the good ones of them. First of all, the Jews never accused G uh, Mary that she is a prostitute because simply Mary, she was married. Le 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 legally, she is married to a man. His name is Joseph. Or what or what they have, the no, Jews. No, no Mary was never married. Mary no, was friend, never, my friend, my friend. ever, no, hold on, ever hold on. married. No, no. And, and, and the Bible says she was engaged. Engagement in the Jews tradition is marriage without yet the women move into the house of the husband and sleeping with him. So legally, she is married, which means if she have children, nobody can accuse her of adultery. Otherwise, the Jews well, will stone her. 
The well, Jews will... according well, according to the Quran, she didn't have any husband. Mm. She was a chat. Ch uh, no, a according to the Quran, chastity. no, according to the Quran, it doesn't say she don't have a husband. It doesn't say she did not know a man, and this is what the Bible says too, that she did not know a man, but she is already engaged to a person. So here we notice Muhammad. He mixed up between the Old Testament where it says that there is a there's a woman her name is Maryam She is the sister of Aaron and Moses Muhammad. He thought she is the sister of Aaron and Moses This is exactly what is written in the Old Testament You got a prophet is a false prophet who copy names. Can you explain to me then? Why the father of Moses and the father of Mary have the same name? Is that a mistake? Okay, I, I searched I searched uh, the father of uh, Musa and and Google mm. And it showed, and it just said um, that Musa's father's name is Imran, but mm. there is no, uh, there is no proof stating that is mm. from the Quran that uh, his father's name is Imran. Yeah, this is from your prophet's statement. That he says that Imran is the father. This is why the whole chapter is called the chapter of Imran, chapter number three, verse number, yeah. v chapter number three, called the chapter of Imran. Do you know why? Because this is the family of a person whose name is Omran. So this is the story of Ali Omran, the people of Omran. Who is Omran? He is the father of Moses, and he is the father of uh, Aaron, and he is the father of Mary. But but if you go and search in the Bible, you will find that this is a joke. First of all, the father of Moses, his name is not Omran. His name is Omram. According to the, you know, so he got the name wrong. What Omran? Sorry, uh, 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 the the name of the father of Mary. So, uh, uh, the, the 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 name of the father of Mary is wrong, and the name of the father of uh, Moses is wrong. So, you're a prophet. He could not pronounce correctly the the names. He but, heard the Jews so, saying Amram, so, so he said, "This you, is Amram." Are you saying Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said that Moses's uh, father's name was Amram? Yes, and here we go. This what? Where is the name Amran coming from? There's no, there's no, nothing in the in the in the Jewish scriptures, anywhere. It says all in the New Testament. It says the word Amram, Amran. There's Amram. So your prophet he missed between the letters. There's no Amram in the Quran, but in the Bible it is Amram. So your prophet I mean, could not. Your I prophet. Mean, their fathers could have. I mean, their fathers could have have the same name. My friend, how this has happened, and how he's saying he, she is the sister of Aaron, and now he is quoting the wrong words even for Jesus. Now, let me ask you, forget about this. Okay. Can you show me one thing will prove to you that uh, Islam is uh, from God or Quran is from God or anything? Give me something good about Islam to make me believe. Like, if you want to okay. convert somebody, if you are sitting with okay. somebody and you want to convert him to Islam, what do you say to him? Okay. In mm. 1440 years, mm. the Quran has never changed, but the Bible has changed thousands and thousands of times. Really? Yep. Okay, so why the Quran says the Bible never changed? Where where does it say that? In front of us. In front of us. Yeah. Chapter 2, verse number 89, chapter 291, chapter uh, chapter 10, uh, 2, verse 101, chapter 2, verse number 213. Chapter two eighty nine. Let us go. Let us go one by one. Okay. All right. When they have a book come from Allah, confirming what that in their position does. It, do you see it? Where are you? Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Does it say that this is confirming what in their position? What that means is that they rejected the Quran. This is another question. It says that this book confirming what in their position. Yeah. What is in their position? Oh, I wonder. I will give you the three options. Oh, the, book that, uh, the book that is in their possession is the Quran. No, my friend. The, the book in their position, those are the people of the book. No, it's it's the position in their the book in their possession is the Quran. 
Okay, but hold on. Yeah. So, so the 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 position, Allah, He sent the book to confirm the Quran. No, I I I just told you the book that it's talking about in this verse is the Quran. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. If I give you right now the Bible and it is corrupt as you say, do you swear on it? Do I swear on the on the Bible? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, why you will not swear? Because it's 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 not a book from God. So only false people they will swear in it, correct? Not false people, but people who don't believe in the truth. But if one if someone knows that this is a corrupt book, a Muslim should can a Muslim swear by it? By the by the Bible? Yeah, can a Muslim swear by the Bible if it's corrupt? No. Why he cannot? Because that will make him go to hell. No, because the Bible isn't isn't it's not from God. It was so it yeah. So can, can a Muslim? Okay, if a Muslim, if a Muslim came. swear, if a Muslim swear by the book is not from God anymore, is he committing a big sin? Will make him go to hell, or this is okay? No, a, a person should only swear either by God or by the Quran. Okay, so I'm saying to you, if he do that, is he committing a big sin to Allah? Yeah, he is. And he is being a hypocrite because he knew the book is not true, yet he swear by it, right? Exactly. Thank you very much. So why your prophet he swear by it? Exactly. By by what did my prophet swear your by? Your prophet he swore he swear by the Torah. He swore by the Torah. Yes, and you said to me exactly, you agree with me. I said to you that if he is doing that, he is a hypocrite liar. You said exactly. So you're a prophet, he swear by the Torah, and not only that, he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Okay, let me explain to you. A, a second ago, you explained to me, and you said to me, the one who do that, he is committing a big sin, and he is a hypocrite, and he's a liar. Now you want to explain to me. So you see how you change your position? So you're in, okay. you, you are a person okay. who is sitting who is sitting in a, in a, in a top of a, of, a, of a nail, and he changed his ass from side to side because the nail is making a hole in there. So now, a second ago, your nail was sweet in you. You are fine with it. And you were saying to me, free answer. Okay, the one who do that, it's wrong. It's sin. Yes, he's a hypocrite. He's a liar. He should not do that. The second I said to you, you're a prophet. He said that. Suddenly, you want to explain to me. Okay. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smart. Be honest with me. Be, be honest with me. Have you ever heard this before? About this hadith? Yes. No, I have not. And so how come you can explain to me in a speed of light? I just mentioned it to you and right away let me explain to you. Okay, so... No, 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 I'm asking you how you can do that. I mean, you must be a miracle of God. A second ago, you were explaining to me and with confidence. A second after, I said to you, you're a prophet. The second I said to you, your prophet did that. You don't even know the hadith. You do not even read the hadith. You never heard the hadith. And right away, you said to me, let me explain to you. Okay, so can can I can I no no how you can do that? I want to be like you. I wish I can be smart like you. How you can explain something you did not even read yet? Okay, okay. Can I say something, please? No, you cannot. You need to explain to me how you can do that. This is a miracle of okay. Allah. How, how you can explain to me you something you did not even read? Well, will you let me speak, please? Go ahead. Okay, so you're. You're very no, you're a very knowledgeable person. I I, billah, I, billah, I do not know much. I do not know. I am illiterate. Yeah. I am an Arab. Okay, go ahead. Like you um like you uh, you obviously know a, a lot of hadiths and you know like the a lot of verses of the Quran, correct? I'm trying. You know, actually I have a friends here they are helping me. Jibril is helping yeah. me. So Jibril. Since so since I'm not, I'm I'm just like I said a layman. Mm. So I I haven't read all the like a lot of hadiths. Mm. I I I haven't read the whole Quran in English. Okay, forget about this. Forget about. It. Let us talk about something you read. Let us talk about something you read. Is it true that your God Allah have a? Uh, is your God Allah have a spirit? Does it, Allah have a spirit? Yes. Is he a spirit? He have a spirit. What What is the nature of Allah? Do you know? My God, then, my God, let me introduce my God to you. My God is a spirit. He is know, a spirit. I know, I know, I know, okay. I know very is your much. God, I, I is, your, is, is your God Allah spirit? 
no okay so how your God is a living God if you don't have a spirit because the spirit is the power of life if you have no spirit yet he is a physical being he have hands he have legs is a physical being how he is alive if he is just a physical being have no spirit and he is not a spirit how he can be alive okay um because all God is the he was there from the beginning and he will be there till the very end mm, Actually, my friend. This is this is a true story Allah is there from the beginning But there's no proof of Allah to be from the beginning or his we in the end or what you know about Gurgala is nothing It's just somebody so, saying something to you. I'm asking you this not this have nothing to do with my topic anyway He is okay. from the, let us assume he is from the beginning now, nice to meet you from the beginning But this is not the question how That's Allah okay. how Allah is alive But yet he is not a spirit and he have no spirit, but yet he's a physical being let me tell you something. I have a table here. Yeah. It is not a spirit and has no spirit, and it exists. Does that mean this is Allah? No. Okay. So now we. Because so Allah so how Allah can be alive? How Allah is alive? But he he is not a spirit and he have no spirit. Life is the power of life. We know, we know he's alive through through the how because you know? of the signs, the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon and the Ooh, trees. Oh, the sun of the moon and the trees. This is the proof that Allah is Allah. That's really crazy. And the my earth friend, and the oceans and this whole universe. Okay, my the friend, my friend. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Okay. Do your God Allah knows how the sun move? If He is the God of the sun, He created the sun. Do Allah Allah knows how the sun move? Yeah, He He's the creator of the sun. Oh. Well, uh, then if he is the creator, then he should know where the sun goes every day. Do he knew? Of course. So how in the Quran he says that the sun set in a murky water? The sun set in a what water? Murky water, muddy water. What do you say? Can you please give me the uh, verse? Chapter 18, verse number 86. As Jibreel told me. Okay. Hmm. All right, one second. To to this person, Dal Karnain, that's how the sun looked like. That that was in his view. This is his view. It doesn't say that, my friend. It says Allah is talking. He says, and when he reached the setting place of the sun, did you see that? The one yeah. is talking here is not Dal Karnain. It is Allah talking. He reached the place where the sun set. Do you does it say that? Mm -hmm. So it's a location where the sun set. Come on, we have to be honest here. By the way, I mean myself as an Arab, we Arab, we find that we are the only one knows where the sun set. But I'm not going to tell you because that will make a lot of tourists go to my to, to my dad farm. So uh, he found where the sun set as a place. He found the sitting he reached. He was walking, 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 and then he reached the sitting place of the sun. So this is not about how he see. This is he yeah. Allah, Allah is reporting a fact. Yeah. Okay, so Allah reporting a fact, and the fact is, He reached where He gave us a position. What position? The place where the sun set. Allah is saying that, not Zulkarnain. We have to be honest here. Okay, um, and He so found it. Who is talking still? Allah. He found it. Who is the one saying, Found it? You see. Allah did not say and he thought he said he found it so he is reporting a find and the find is in the about the Sun and where the Sun set so Allah here is the only one is talking reporting what happened exactly 
he found it sitting in a muddy spring this is why if you notice in the morning sometimes the sun look dirty and this has happened always in the Middle East I don't know in America I don't know how they can wash it I think they do it on purpose to make the sun not like coming from the mud just to deceive the Christians and the Jews so the sun really in my country where I'm coming from every morning you will find a lot of mud in the in the eyebrows and etc and then after that it clear out because you know take a shower etc and the rain and then Allah here is showing us that he is the God the creator who knows how the Sun is made and how the Sun move as you see what do you yeah. think do you agree with Allah that the Sun sit in a murky water I agree 100% oh that's wonderful what is the school you go to my friend you said you go to school what is your education my school is a Catholic school okay but what does have to do with the, my, my question what is what is your what is your education in your in your Catholic ch ch school they taught you that the Sun sit in the murky water no okay so now where do you get this knowledge now that you agreed with Allah that the Sun sit in murky water is that something you watch in Discovery Channel is that something you see and uh, where how you got this knowledge I mean this is astonishing because uh, we know it's the truth because it's from Allah ah, this is the truth so you are saying to me according to you the Sun every day go from the east to the west and taken it, it, it dump itself inside the murky water like a pig like a khanzir why the Sun is doing that and where is that water do you know where is that water okay as long as you agree that the Sun set in the murky water do you know where is that water because he reporting the story about happy in the earth this is Alexander the Great Zulkur 9 he's a human like us he's walking in the earth and he yeah. found where the Sun sitting so this the Sun sit inside the muddy water in the earth do you know the location what country you think that that muddy water is exist which which lake maybe the Great Lake in Michigan uh, I don't know what it what this what's the you can't base a book off one verse just like before you said about the Bible yeah my friend but you just said to me you agree you agree that this is sun set in the murky water but this guy he is talking about people who live in this earth and he is a man you, who live in this earth so where we can find the location of this where you we can find the hermeneutics of this verse which I haven't looked at no problem but you agreed you said we agree that the sunset in Mercury so you agreed already it's too late now so now as long you agreed with it where we can find do you know how big the Sun is it's it's a uh, huge huge is it bigger than the earth or smaller bigger so how the Sun can dump itself in a muddy water in the earth if it's bigger how do you know that's the meaning? It could mean someone something else. Well, you a second ago you agree with me and you said yes. You change your, your position now. I misheard you, I'm sorry. Ah you repeat that many times and you said yes, we agree with Allah as long as Allah He says that we agree, and now you are saying I miss this is dishonesty, my friend. So okay, let us go back to zero. So Allah He is saying that He found the sun sitting in murky water. Explain to us. Here we go. You said to me that you know Allah is exist because he is the one who created the earth and the Sun and the moon that's wonderful how come yeah. Allah do not know where the Sun goes every day listen you don't understand Allah's language because our our your your brains are very small like yeah. our brains are very small that's where good. where we can't understand what mm. some things mean yeah. My brain is very small. Uh, by the way, I said, okay, your let, brain is very small. I said our brains are very small. No problem, no problem. That's mean your brain and my brain they are very small. We need two more with small brain. We can play cards because it, it contains four. But now listen, as long as your brain and my brain is small, so why Allah saying that to me if we will not understand it anyway? I mean, don't you think it's a stupid from a stupid person to say something to stupid people who will not understand anyway? What do you think? Like I will say something to you, and I know you will not understand it anyway. So I say to you, shish kebab versus falafel make you shurar or shurara. And then you say to me, what is shurara marara? I say you, you, your brain is small, you don't understand. So why I'm saying to you that? What is the point of this book? Uh, 
Okay. 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 Forget about this. You know, your God, Allah, is really all knowledgeable. Uh, uh, do you have anything in the Quran to confirm that it is from Allah? As long because you see here, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe Allah, He was taking some hashish or kiza. So I don't know. He He made a mistake. Let it go. I mean, we have to forgive him. What about in the same chapter? He says that he found he keep walking. This guy, he keep walking, 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 and then he arrived and he found where the sun rise. Where the sun rise? Do you know? The sun rises from the west. The sun rise from the west. Yeah, is that what happened in your country? The sun, no, your... the, sun the sun rises from the east. Oh, okay, and it's in the west. Oh, okay, it's all right. So the sun rises from the east, but it, look what it says here. He keep he changed his direction and he keep going. He follow a road till when he reached the rising place of the sun. The rising place of the sun. Where is that located? It's in the east. In the east, that's the wonderful. East. Where, but where, where? But I, I, as I know, my friend, the east is exist everywhere. I mean, I, every morning I can look from my window and I see the east. I do not need to go anywhere to reach the east. The east is exist wherever you live. Any anywhere, the sun is east. I mean, if you if, if you live in an area, it doesn't matter where, then the sun will rise. That we call it the east. Wherever the sun is coming from. So, why he says here he keep walking until he reach. Till he reached the rising place of the sun. Don't you think this is a stupid too, or you think this is like uh, because we have a small brain, we don't understand? Let me explain to you. I like it when you say. Let me explain to you because when you say that, there's mean there's a disaster will happen. Okay, go ahead, explain to us. Okay. So it this means that like by the time he reached there the sun was rising Oof. and he found and he found the people whom whom had no closer homes to protect them from the sun. I mean my friend, how in the world I could not understand it the way you understand it all my life. Look, I am 17 years old, yet I could not get it. How old are you? 17. You are 17 like me. So now both of us who are 17. It's a miracle. So are you seriously you 17? Sound, you, you sound like you're copying me because I said 17. You say 17. What's, what's is your age, really? No, so really, it's 17. You are 17 years old? Yes. Okay. How, how old is your dad? Uh, 58. Uh, my dad is 15, you believe it? My mom is 14. But anyway, I'm, I'm older than my family. Have you ever heard of somebody is older than his family? No. That would be crazy, is it? It's unusual. That's unusual. That's true. We will go to that later. Remind me so we can talk about this topic because this would be complicated for you. But as long as you mentioned to me that you are 17 can and... I, can I ask you something? Um, Money? No, no. Uh, candies? If, candies? Whenever I, I find... Well, I, I find someone more obviously more knowledgeable than me then mm. then could i call you again sure you can call me but i what about you ask your uh, do you have do you have a shake in the mosque you go to yeah i'll ask a, i'll ask a shake to call you okay I, I i i ask you please if you can ask your shake and you said and you can ask your shake you can share with him you can sit next to him and he can talk to me because uh, I want to really I want you to get me somebody he knows Islam he claimed to know Islam and you will see that Muslims have no answer my friend Anyway, I'm happy that you call me But and uh, anyways, I, I know this book is the truth. I know it's always going to be the truth Really and they you will realize it's the truth mm -hmm. and then and that day you're gonna ask why you didn't accept the truth Okay, let, 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 to be honest with you. I know that Islam is the truth But I'm afraid that your prophet he promised me in the heaven I will have sex and stop and I will have 70 years of orgasm and then, and not only that, yeah. he said, my penis will never sleep. And this is really horrible. I mean, imagine you want to sleep and take a break, but you cannot because your penis is like... Can I, can I, mean, I also tell you something else? Tell me. Jesus is the 
servant of God because he had to use the bathroom, he had to eat, he had a mother really? who had to take okay. care of him. Can you show me the eat. can you show me the reference that he used the bathroom? Well, he was a human being, isn't that correct? Okay, wasn't uh, the NG the, the 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 Quran says that Jibreel came as a human being? Do he use a bathroom and he called him Holy Spirit? No, no, J Jibreel, Jibreel is an angel. Okay, did he came to earth as a man? Yes or no? He came in form of, in a form of a man. Yes. All right. So, do he use a bathroom? Uh, I don't know about no angels. Hmm. Is your God is is your God Allah is a man? We re re we refer to Allah as a he. Yes. No, this is not the question. Uh, I don't care if it's he or she. I'm saying, is your God Allah is a man? He looked like no. a man. No. So why your prophet? He said he is short and he is fat. Where? In front of us. Here we go. Do okay. You, do you see my screen? Uh, no. You need to zoom out. Okay. Your prophet, he is saying, is comparing between Allah and the fat man, which is a Dajjal, and he said the only difference between the the Dajjal and the uh, and Allah is the the eye. The ass is the same. The hair is the same. They have the same. Everything is the same. The only difference between them is the eye. What do you say about that? He's talking about the Antichrist. He, yes, he's describing the Antichrist. Correct, but he's saying to them in the same time, if you are confused about him, which means about him, the false Christ, you should know that your Lord is not one eye. So Muhammad is afraid that they will confuse about Allah and the Dajjal, and he's confirming to them that the only difference between them is the one eye. No, so listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, so how many the, eyes your God? How many eyes your God have? I don't know how many eyes he does he has, but I'm, I know he's not one eyed. Hmm. Why Allah have eyes? I don't know, because he's Allah. Because he's Allah, I have eyes too. Eyes is to see with it. So as long we agree that this is a physical eye, that means Allah He can see only with those eyes and His eyes in the front of His face. So Allah cannot see in the back of Him. No. Okay, where Allah eyes located in His front or in His ass? Mm -hmm. You think you're very funny? I'm not being funny. I'm asking questions. I need an answer. I'm trying to learn from you. So Allah have two eyes and they are located in the front of His face. The Quran says the the face of Allah. So Allah have a face and he have a bum. So if there is no eyes there, that's mean we cannot he cannot see in the behind. But Allah is the all seer. How can all seer but he can see his back? Mm -hmm. You must be best best friends with the devil. Mm, yeah. What if I show you that the best friend with the devil is Allah? Mm. Actually, what if I show you from the Quran that the devil himself is Allah? What you would do? Okay, tell me the verse. Let's let's see the verse. All the Quran, the Quran says that the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide. Is that true or I'm lying? That's true. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Did he say this true? So if Allah deceives somebody, nobody can guide. So who is the devil then? No, if I'm saying if Allah. Is that, so your, is, that, is, that your, is that your mom Allah. next to you? Is that your mom next to you? One, no one could guide him. That's correct. Correct. Okay, so Allah is a devil. Allah is even more evil than the devil because the that's devil. it. Because well, Allah could choose who he wants to guide and who, whom he wants to misguide. Thank you. So Allah is playing games. He guides some people. He misguides some people. And he is the only evil in this earth. It's not a shaitan. Allah is a shaitan. You just said, everybody heard you, that Allah, he chose who want to misguide and who is the one who want to guide. So if I am misguided, it's Allah who misguided me. If you are guided, Allah, he guided you. So Allah is the devil. Allah is playing, having fun. Hey, I will guide you. Hey, I will misguide you. So what is my fault? This is stupid religion, my friend. So you are following the devil, worshiping him, and says that Allah is God. But the fact he is shaitan, and he play with us. So he chose who wanna, he wanna, who wanna play with, and he wanna make him deceived. So thank you very much. You prove to me that Allah is the devil by your help. Is your mom next to you? Uh, no, she's not. Okay, who's next to you? I heard somebody talking to you. Oh, that was that my little brother came in and he oh, left okay. out. I thought this is your mom or your daddy. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for calling. You can call me again. All right, wait, sir. 
Yeah. Okay. Next time, insha inshallah, I'm gonna come with either a sheikh or with more knowledge. Okay. And we okay. and I would love to talk to you again. All right. No problem, my friend. Right. Thank you very you much. Have, you have a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. All right. I mean, obviously, Allah is God. I mean, Allah is the one who misguide. Allah, the one who guide. That's it. So, what shaitan is about?